Welcome back to You Can Make a Difference. This is lesson number eight. And we are going to talk about Staff Sergeant Daniel Morris making a difference as a soldier. Here's a quote that I start the broadcast with. People who make a difference will be the few, not the majority. It will be the few, the sensitive, and the obedient. Difference makers come in all shapes, sizes, variety, ethnic groups, financial status, and even life careers. Here's a real story about a soldier who made a difference in his brief lifespan. Quoting from the newspaper article from one of his relatives, I will never forget that Sunday afternoon in Maryland, Tennessee, when my parents received a phone call my mom answered the phone and made the telltale gasping noise she only makes when something is wrong. She started crying, hung up, and told us my cousin had been killed in Iraq. Staff Sergeant Daniel Morris was only 28 when he died on November 25th in El Judea, Iraq, when a roadside bomb exploded near his vehicle. Daniel was one of four soldiers in the Humvee. The others received varying degrees of injury. Daniel was a Bradley Armor personal carrier operator assigned to the 1st Cavalry Division from Fort Hood, Texas. Sometime after Daniel's funeral, I was on my way home from work, stuck in interstate traffic when I heard the song, This Is Your Life by Switchfoot. Within the song is the lyric, this is your life, are you who you want to be? I began, I began thinking about my cousin and all of the events surrounding his death. While listening to that song, I realized the type of person Daniel really was. Daniel was a loving person. He was a son, a father, and a Christian. But most importantly, he was a soldier. When he was just a kid, Daniel had dreamed of joining the army. He was exactly who he wanted to be. The stories friends and family shared about Daniel's faith and commitment to duty reinforced that. For example, Daniel bought a car for the sole purpose of picking people up and taking them to church on Sunday mornings. He bought a riding lawnmower so members of his church congregation could mow their property. Everything he did, he did it for the glory of God. This is one story in particular I will never forget. Reverend Matthew Reed, the minister of the church, that Daniel attended near Fort Hood, keeps a map with push pins in it to show where all the soldiers he knows are deployed. Before Daniel left for his second tour of duty in Iraq, he gave Reverend Reed a purple heart pin. Daniel may have felt he was not coming home, but he went anyway. He went and proudly served his country, and like so many other soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines. He gave his life for his country and for the Iraqi people. It was who he was. He likely could have answered the song's question, are you who you want to be, without giving a second thought. The lessons I learned from Daniel are amazing. I realize that I am not invincible. Along with the good and bad things can happen and will happen. What is important is how I choose to deal with whatever happens. I've learned that making the most of my life should be a much higher priority on my to-do list. I cannot accomplish anything by sitting back, being complacent, letting the world move around me. Instead, I should, as they say, grab the bull by the horns and take advantage of every opportunity 
that comes my way. Daniel will always be my hero. He will always be an example of someone who unselfishly gave his life and lived every moment being exactly who he wanted to be. Not everyone can say the same. What's the challenge? The challenge is, are you who you want to be? As you become all God wants you to be, you will become a difference maker.